Take the example of Company X, an asset management company that manages an international equities fund and decides to invest in France and Hong Kong. In accordance with regulations, Company X must appoint a depository bank on behalf of its investors and it chooses Cassis. Having been authorized by the local supervisory authorities to act as depository, Cassis has two primary tasks. The first is to protect the interest of the investors in the International Equities Fund and ensure that the decisions taken by the management company comply with the applicable regulations. In other words, Cassis ensures that the investments in securities which are held in the International Equities Fund comply with the business sector or the geographical investment area is indicated in the information document provided to investors. The second task is the custody of the International Equities Fund's assets, that is, the shares held in the fund. The custody of these assets involve processing corporate actions, such as dividend payments or capital increases, keeping a record of the accounting of the securities and cash transactions, and taking care of the taxation of the securities. If we come back to our example of Company X, it claims to invest 60% of its assets in France and 40% in Hong Kong. Cassis uses a Hong Kong-based subcustodian to provide custody for the securities purchased by Company X in Hong Kong. Securities held in custody abroad are registered in Cassis's accounting records, which allows the bank to keep track of the assets and know at any moment the security's position. In order to meet the needs of all its institutional clients, Cassis works with a global network of 80 subcustodians. With 1,106 billion euros of depository assets for investment funds and 2,656 billion euros of custody assets for its entire client base, Cassis, a subsidiary of the Credit Agricole Group, is a leading European asset servicing provider.